Hi, this is James from tracymat.co.uk and from boxes.com and I'm here with the JCB uh, Pro Smart that's been uh, sent over to us by uh, Clo. Thank you very much guys for sending that to us and we're just going to do a quick unboxing of this one and uh, we'll perform a few tests on it uh, live on camera. How exciting. So let's dive straight in and then we have the device itself sitting on top. So we'll take that out, come back to that in just a second. We might as well just see what else we get in the box. Okay, so we get some instruction-y type things, a quick start, quick start guide. Uh, shows how to get the battery cover off, insert the SIM card, etc. Nice. Um, this one's clearly been opened before. There's some um, bits of plastic, which are, they look like spare, spare cover, uh, port covers. Get some headphones. We get a nice big uh, inline button for receiving calls, and then the headphones themselves, which are quite big and chunky, and uh, they don't look particularly comfortable, but uh, that's not the end of the world. Pin for travelling overseas. Oh my god, what we got here? We've got a carabiner, which goes a compass, and a sort of key ring on it as well, which is nice if you like that sort of thing. Um, that's just the sync charge cable, which is USB to micro USB. There's a, another cable there. Are these both the same? Yep, there's two of them for some reason. I doubt if you get two in the retail packaging. And then we get our uh, our wall charger, and obviously we've got the uh, the three pin plug there for to use in the UK. So let's put the bits to one side just for a moment, and we'll have a look at the actual handset itself. So as you can see, it's big and chunky. Going to give you protection. Oops, oops. It's going to give you protection if you drop it like that. Um, over on the left hand side, we have um, we have our uh, USB port there, which is obviously covered by a big thick sort of plasticky rubber um, door there's a button there I don't actually know what that does to be honest with you um, over the other side we've got our up down volume controls and that looks like a dedicated uh, camera key there on the top we've got our headset jack again that's uh, inside a uh, protective port oh. under a door should I say there we go, and the power button there as well, which we'll press. Oh, look, oh, it's already on actually. Um, nothing on the bottom, and over on the back we get our our camera lens and the camera flash. It's a five megapixel camera, and uh, that's about it. I'm not even going to attempt to get the battery door off because it looks a bit uh, like it might take me a while. Um, but let's just have a look. What else we get here? So on the front we've got a, uh, our sensors and our front facing camera up at the top. Uh, underneath the screen we've got our call send and end buttons. We've then got some uh, some capacitive buttons. We've got the menu search and back button. Uh, and this one is running uh, Android 2.3. Um, I don't think there's any news on whether this is going to get an update or not, to be honest with you. Um, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have thought so. But the the big selling point of this is that it's scratch resistant, um, water resistant, and sort of dust resistant as well. So ideal for uh, people maybe in the, the building trade or something like that who are, are prone to uh, either dropping or knocking their phone. This one's going to give you, I would imagine, the ultimate protection. Um, yeah, it's not the thinnest device. It's big and it's chunky, it's, but it feels robust, uh, which is what you're going to need in uh, in that particular. Field. So um, obviously running uh, Android 2.3 as I said, home screen is made up of five separate screens. Fairly standard stuff, we'll just jump in and have a look at what we get inside the menu. Um, in fact what I think we'll do first is, oops, let's just connect it to the uh, sort of Wi-Fi and that way we can actually show you the, uh, the browser and that sort of thing. 
and then we're going to test it, put it in some water and stuff. So let me just put my password in. Just wait for that to connect. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so let's jump back to the uh, back to the main menu. And okay, so we've got the browser first. We'll have a quick look at that. You see the on-screen keyboard that we get there. And it will rotate. Not the quickest, but it does rotate. It's not the smoothest experience, but it's all right, not too bad at all. But this obviously, you know, this isn't a, a super high-end smartphone. So there's the browser. Let's just if we can get back out of this. Oh, there's a home button there, which hardware button between the call send and end. So if you, you click that, it takes you back to your home screen. Uh, calculator, calendar. Cam called a camera list. Let's have a look at a very quick look at the camera interface. And also we've got our dedicated uh, shutter button there. Let's take a photo of my my tool that I'm going to test for uh, scratching the screen. Oh, is that maybe that isn't a camera button? It's an on-screen one. There, on-screen one there. Oh, it's, auto, it's auto focus. That's loud. Maybe that's not a camera button. Oh, I don't know what it is. Maybe we'll have, I'll have to look in the instruction booklet for that one in a second. Um, clock, contacts, downloads, email, file manager, we've got an FM radio, gallery, Gmail, Google. we've got a JCB toolbox. I wonder what that is. Aha. Uh -huh. Some groovy gadgets like a spirit level and a torch. Except the torch doesn't use the camera flash, it uses the screen. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. Recording decibels, you can see it going up as I talk there, it's quite clever actually. Not sure I'd use use that very often, but there you go. And this is a thing that does stuff. It's kind of like a theodolite, I think, although I don't actually, I'm not entirely sure what a theodolite does. Anyway, that might come in handy if you're uh, in a certain profession. What else we got here? Um, maps, market, messaging, music. Just see if there's any preloaded. I doubt if there will be. Nope. Navigation, use by the phone, places, settings, sound recorder, videos, voice search, and YouTube. So, all fairly uh, standard stuff. Um, I must say the screen, although it's, it's not as quick to react as some other screens, it sometimes takes a little bit extra. I don't know whether that's the, uh, the, the Gorilla Glass as well. Um, but, uh, yeah. It feels all right. So let's test it out anyway. Oh, one thing I must, must mention also, that it's just got a 2,000 million power battery in it. So it, it should be good for uh, uh, seeing you well in excess of a day's, uh, day's use out of it, which is, uh, which is pretty nice to see. We don't see batteries that big in uh, most Android smartphones. So how should we test this out? Let's do the scratch test first and uh, get out my trusty mini fork and uh, wipe and uh, see if there's any scratches. 
doesn't look like there's a single one. Oh, there's me. Hello. <laughs> no, there's not a single one there. That's good. Right, now the uh, my favourite kind of test. This one's called the water test. In it goes. Dun, dun, dun. Just give it a moment. Oh, that'll do. And I'll take it out and I shall place it on my tea towel to dry it off. Give it a quick wipe and then we'll make sure it still works. And it does. Perfect. Nice. Well, that's big and chunky. It actually feels pretty cool. Um, it looks nice as well. I'm not sure I'd be using this every day, but I think a lot of people will. I think there's a market for this, and this looks. Uh, this is out of all the, you know, scratch-proof and waterproof ones I've I've got hold of. This is pretty probably the coolest one I've seen so far. So. Uh, yeah, nice work JTB, I like this one. And uh, if you're interested in it, you can click the link below and uh, head on over to Clove. And uh, thank you for watching, ta-ra!